Hey guys, welcome to Decor Lab. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a freestanding organic balloon garland that you don't have to attach to any walls or ceilings. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. So let's start with the base. For the base, we are using the lamp base. This bad boy you can get from Amazon, Walmart, or any department store. I have a lot of them, so what I'm gonna be doing, um, I'm going to be extending the original lamp stand by adding two more sections to it so it will be taller. Let's do it. So now let's get to the balloons part. For this setup, we chose three different colors. First color will be our eucalyptus. This eucalyptus is stuffed with a black inside, so more of a back look. This color we have in three different sizes, 11 inch, nine inch, and the five inch. So as you can see, we have two nine inches here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add it to a cluster by just twisting it around. So here we have three different deuces, two 11 inches and four of the nine inch. And again, here, there is no rule of thumb. You just play with it. You can do two 11 inches and one nine inch or all 11 inches or four nine inches. But um, you can use all of them for that setup because we are going for dimensions. So going like in different like volume on sides will actually give it a lot nicer and organic look. So this is the first color. The second color I have is the Camille. Camille by Tough Tax. It is not double stuffed. And this color we have in three different sizes as well. We have it in 17 inch. We have it in 11 inch. And a five inch. So the five inches we will be using for filler. So we're not gonna be touching them just yet. But the bigger ones we will be twisting into a cluster. Let's add another one. Just like that. As you can see, this, this cluster is bigger than the previous one that we made. Because this one has 17 inch balloons in it. But that's okay, because we know that the balloons colors not always come in the same sizes. Like this color simply doesn't come in a 17 or 18 inches. So this is why we'll be working with what is given and we will cre create the dimension by just adding smaller sizes and mixing them together. And the third color here is the rose gold. It is a reflex rose gold by Sempertex. Again, it is not double stuffed uh, because it's nice in the pack. For this color, we're using two different sizes. We're using them in 11 inch and a five inch. But again, five inch we will use later for our filler quads, but 11 inch we inflate into different um, capacities. So this one is basically full inflated. It still has some stretching capacity to it, so which is nice, always keep that in mind. You do not want to fully inflate it. And these are under inflated. So they inflated to about like nine to 10 inch capacity. So by doing that, we create two different sizes of the balloons, even though it comes only in 11 inch. So here we did not size any of the balloons. So we're pretty much just eyeball it. Um, just again, here you don't have to because we're creating organic garland. So now we have the clusters and what we're going to be doing, we're going to be creating a color block and adding them to our base. You guys ready? Let's do it. So basically what we're going to do, we will take one cluster, we will spread two balloons, we will hug our uh, base and then twist those balloons together. So that latex has a nice grip and it sits on the base pretty, pretty good, it has a good grip to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add maybe one or two more clusters of the same color and then I will get to the next color. So if 
you will push your balance all the way to the floor, they will be pushing against the floor and pulling your base up. So make sure you leave a little bit of the space so it's not all the way on the floor and you have a little bit of a gap. You can also add a weight on the base of it to have, make it sturdier, especially when you're doing that for the client. when you made it to the very top of your base uh, we still want to extend it a little bit to the side to make it nice organic curve so what I'm going to do the next cluster I'm going to take it by one of the necks from the base and I'm going to tie it to one of the necks to the, of the last cluster attached And let's do another one to have a beautiful curve. So our base garland is in place. So what we're going to do, we're going to make this shape more organic by adding some clusters on each side so we're going to make it organic we're going to fluff it up and we're going to going to create a little bit more volume on the floor so for that i will need a 260 i'm simply going to loop it and then that loop of the 260 i will look through one of the balloons on a cluster and now this one i'll just simply just add to wherever I want it. Here, since I'm creating a color block, I will be matching or putting the color next to the color already on the base. So since I have the Cameo color over here, I will probably put the cluster over here or on the opposite side, again, to create more of a curve, right? So depending on which, which way you want it to go. So here I will start. So since I already put one cluster on this side, my next cluster I will put on the other side. Again, we're looking at the organic look. Okay guys, our garland is pretty much built. So what we're going to do, the final step is to add fillers to it. So the reason we're doing it is one, to hide imperfections and two, to give our garland even more dimension. So I'm simply going to take one quad and look at 260 through it and just attach it to wherever I feel like I want either dimension or to mask imperfection. So let me show you what I mean by imperfections. So the places where you still see the base, the places where you still see the 260s, like right over here, mm -hmm. or the places where you can see through. So those are considered imperfections. Okay guys, here you have it. So let me tell you something. So for the lamp base that we're using over here, this is the maximum amount of balloons I personally would put on for a customer. Uh, you, it is good, it is pretty sturdy. Um, if you would go taller or wider, you might first of all lose the shape of it and second of all lose the sturdiness of it. 
So if you are looking to create a bigger design, taller design, wider design, I would go with a base that would be designed for decorators like pipe and drape base or pipe, uh, the pipe pole on a very heavy duty base that will hold up a lot more and that can be, get so much taller. So keep that in mind. So what do you guys think? Do you love this type of setup? Remember, this is perfect when you cannot use your walls or do not want to damage it. So just use your own pole. Let us know in the comments below if you guys have any questions, any suggestions, or if you just want to say hi. And I will see you in the next video.